Namaste. This is the final video in the series of four planets in their own houses. In the first video, I had explained about the mystical triangle, the root of fortune formed by the planets from August 16 to September 15th. In the second video, I had covered Mars and the Sun in, his, in this triangle, in the Mukhura Tirkona sign. In this video, I am going to explain how Sagittarius, Jupiter in Sagittarius completes the mystical triangle and helps you identify and capitalize on the opportunities come your, coming your way and leading towards progress. In Vedic Astrology, each planet is a part of the coat of planets and is symbolized as a member of royal cabinet or planetary cabinet. Jupiter is the ministerial planet which forms about a new visions, educates, consults, helps or advises to grow ethically and righteously. So, when Jupiter is in Sagittarius, it becomes strong as it is in Volatirikona sign. And the house which signifies fortune, luck and higher learning. Basically, Jupiter is very strong in 9th house and he is there in the 9th house of natural zodiac. Guru is the one who dispels the darkness and brings light into one's life. Jupiter uplifts the soul and makes one enjoy without attach, attaching to the materialistic world. He is called by many names. One such name which resonates is quality is Brihaspati. Briha means vastness. Spati means one who owns it. This is the reason Jupiter is called the planet of expansion. Like you know, Jupiter expands wherever he sits, wherever he transits, he expands that sign. That is why he is the natural significator for family, finance, fortune and progeny, wherever the expansion is happening. Jupiter in the sign Sagittarius for almost close to one year now, he is comfortable in that sign as he also rules that sign. And this sign is also called as the house of Dharma the ninth house, no? the house of Dharma. The ninth house completes the mystical triangle of wealth that is Lakshmistana, also called as Dharma triangle. Dharma can be uh, described as integrity. And the ruler of this house in the birth chart indicates the growth and purpose of life. Like for example, the first house shows physical integrity. You know, how you nurture your body, your behavior, an attitude towards life. The fifth house indicates mental integrity, like how we use our intellect, intelligence, mind useful for creative purpose or you know, bad purpose, etc. comes from this fifth house. The ninth house indicates higher knowledge, spiritual truth, which help, helps us to evolve to the next level. Of course, with the help of Guru. That is why. Jupiter becomes strong in the ninth house. You all know Jupiter rules Sagittarius and Pisces. Out of which Sagittarius has been alerted as the Volatil Kona sign for uh, this planet. Being the Dharma Tirkona gives natural uh, Jupiter a nature of doing righteous things. Jupiter also gives reasoning. The sign Sagittarius symbol is Archer. Jupiter here helps us to aim for the opportunities and the mark and grab them to grow financially. And Jupiter from Sagittarius is going to aspect uh, first house that is Aries where uh, uh, Mars is going to be there from August 17th which talks about self-improvement and self-identity and fifth house Leo where Sun is going to be from 17th of August. This fifth house talks about expression, intelligence and creativity. So the blessings of Jupiter are available in abundance to enhance and correct these areas of life and make use of it to grab the opportunity of opportunities coming your way. Jupiter in its own house can help expand your horizon to attract material gains in best possible ways. So take advantage of this rare alignment of planets which is happening from August 17th to September 16th. Especially Jupiter and Sagittarius can help you turn your ideas into profitable actions. I would recommend you all to be generous in sharing whether it is wealth or knowledge.
that will come mighty fruit. You flourish and will also help others to flourish. This mystical triangle happening in the fire sign. You know, fire represents creativity, confidence, passion and expansion. So this is the right time to bring out all the qualities, these qualities in you. This is the best time for self-awareness. There is so much to discover about you. Many things you don't know, some hidden talents are there inside you. This, these trying lots can help you identify that and your true, true potential. So be committed and start to practice, identify yourself and potentials and skills. Be compassionate towards others. Tuesdays and Thursdays speak less or speak what is required. It has to happen all the days but at least try to do it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. These 31 days are the best time to do meditations, chantings and contemplations. Helping and volunteering is always good but very important in this period. Start working on improving yourself and make use of the opportunity coming your way to grow financially. Identify your passion and plan towards achieving it. Prioritize your work or take small steps to achieve your desires. Set direction to shape your life. Make this a golden trine as a golden opportunity to sow a thought to reap an act. And that act would help you to reach your destiny. May the most benevolent Jupiter shower his auspicious blessings on you and your family. Namaste.